What the hell? Why do I look like Lady Gaga in this? Who is she? What should we call her? Oh my god, this is not going well. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. I am so freaking excited because as you guys can tell by today's video title, we are gonna be trying out some Shein wigs. I honestly had no clue that Shein is currently doing wigs until I saw a TikTok about it and I was like, what the hell? Like these wigs actually look pretty good. So I honestly rushed to Shein and I picked up six different wigs with all different colors and I cannot wait to try them out for you guys. So here's a little sneak peek of all the wigs that I'm gonna try out for you guys. There isn't a single wig in here that was over 20 pounds so every single one is super affordable anyways if you guys are new here hi I'm Roxy welcome to my channel if you guys want to stick around be sure to subscribe down below I also have a bunch of other testing wig kind of videos that I've done in the past on my channel so I'll have a whole playlist in the eye but if you guys want to see what these Shein wigs are about and whether they're worth the money then without further ado let's get on into the video okay which wig do I start off with I feel like I cannot choose I am really excited for this pink one but I'm gonna leave this till like midway through. Do you know what? I guess let's start off with this one, which is the one that I saw in the TikTok and it looked freaking insane. It's actually a little ginger wig, which I mean, I don't know if I personally suit ginger, but I'm willing to give it a try. This wig looked so freaking realistic on TikTok. I just needed to pick it up and in person, it also does not disappoint. Okay, how much was this wig? Let's just quickly have a look. Okay, so this wig was 16 pounds, which I feel like is not bad considering it looks really, really real. I mean, look at the hair, like look at this wave. I love this. The length is really, really nice as well. And there isn't too much of the hair. Do you know sometimes a wig can just feel a little bit fake because of the amount of hair it's got? Whereas this one, it has like a nice full head of hair, but it's not too much. Also the hair actually appears matte rather than shiny just like real hair so that's really really good now this wig has a fake scalp which is actually really rare to come by on a wig this cheap I've tried my fair share of cheap wigs on this channel and honestly I've never found a wig that looked this realistic for this price it also has a little fringe which definitely helps with like the realism of it because underneath it has not got a lace front or anything like that okay enough rambling I guess let's just pop her on and see how she looks by the way in today's video I literally have the worst wig cap to use I can't find my one that I always use which is like a neutral color so I have to wear this black net one okay I am definitely giving dinner lady vibes so just ignore that okay here she goes let's pop her on I haven't put on a wig in a hot minute so I've like honestly forgotten how to do this oh my god are we seeing this wig right now? This is actually kind of cute. I'm not mad at it. Considering this was only 16 pounds, I'm actually really, really impressed. I think she got a little bit messy though, so I'm just gonna have to quickly brush it out. But this is so nice. I used to actually have a full fringe just like this when I was younger, and I always felt like it made my face look really square, but I'm actually kind of liking it now. What do you guys think? Do I suit like a full fringe? I'm not too sure. I mean, I like it, but on a wig, I probably would never cut it. So yeah, obviously you can like cut the fringe to whatever length you want. It's actually not a bad length already. It's just kind of like getting into my eyes a little bit. But yeah, this is my little ginger moment. Who is she? What should we call her? I'm gonna give you guys a quick 360 so you can see the full wig all the way round. So yeah, this is the first one. I actually really, really like this color. I don't think I would ever dye my hair this color, but it's so much fun trying it out on a wig because obviously you can just take it off. There's no like permanent damage. I I actually feel like I'm kind of giving the new Kendall Jenner vibes with this hair color. I swear she literally just dyed her hair this color. On a scale of one to 10, I feel like this wig definitely deserves a 10 out of 10. Okay, moving on to the next wig. I have two blonde ombre kind of moments. I'm not too sure which one to open first, but I know they're slightly different. I guess let's go for this one. I won't know which one this is until I literally get it out. Oh, this is the long one with the fringe. We love a fringe. This is gorgeous. It's literally just like the one I'm wearing right now, but with an ombre fade. This ombre, okay, I mean, this is good. Like, look, it's the same fade all throughout. It's not just on the top. You best believe I have had wigs in the past that literally just had this ombre, but on like the top layer of the hair and there was nothing underneath. This is cute. I actually already can tell I'm gonna really like this. Let's go pop her on. Let's snatch this weave. 
See you later, Hermione. This one's gonna be cute. I love blonde hair and I really miss my blonde hair. But I've said to myself, I'm never gonna dye my hair again because I just don't want the damage. Unless I have like a midlife crisis, then I might. <laughs> Okay, this is a situation. So the fringe is very long. I don't know what to do. Should I like put it to the side? Should I do like the whole curtain bangs? Hello? Okay, wait, is this supposed to be a curtain bang wig or is it supposed to be like a full bang wig? Also, I realized I say bangs, but I'm not American. So like, don't judge. Okay, so I ordered two different ones. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be this one right here, which was 16 at 49. The way she has hers is literally just straight down like this, but my fringe is so long that I definitely need to cut it. Does that look cute? I just, I can't tell. I need the confirmation of my phone. Okay, I mean, that could potentially work. It's got a little bit too much volume for my liking. I wish it was a little bit more like flatter because I think it would look more realistic. But this is the length. I do like the slight wave, but I think I might just like thin it out a little bit because I do feel like there's slightly too much hair. In terms of the cut and the style, I do really, really like it. I think it looks realistic enough and it doesn't make my head feel bulky on the top here, which is great. I think what I might do is actually just cut the fringe at some point because it is a little bit too long and I think it would look better just straight on. But yeah, this is the wig. Oh my gosh, I actually love the way blonde looks on me. I just wish I could have this every single day without the damage. What do you guys think? I feel like a Barbie doll, honestly. This wig is so cute. I definitely wanna get into wearing wigs like more often, like on Instagram and stuff like that because I feel like it just makes life a bit more fun. With fashion, it's so easy to like change who you are and how you feel just by the way you dress. But with your hair, it's a little bit harder. So like, like a wig is so good for that. I am very impressed. Like Shein, what the hell? How have you been keeping this under wraps? Seeing as we're onto such a good streak, I just really wanna try this pink one out. I actually have a very exciting launch coming fairly soon. And that's kind of why I got this wig because it totally goes with the whole theme. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned. I cannot say any more than that, but I am just so excited to try this. I've always loved pink hair. I've always loved like anime characters with pink hair. So I'm just so excited. She is beautiful. I realized that every single wig that I've got so far is like almost the same style. It's got like that wave, it's quite long, and then it's got the full fringe. This one again has that like faux scalp and oh my gosh, it just looks so good. Okay, how much was this one? This one was 15 pounds. Goodbye blonde wig. Let me know what you guys think of this one, but let's pop the pink one on. Okay, here she comes. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, this is not going well. Ow, okay. Right now, this looks freaking terrible. Let's try and fix this. Okay, so here is the wig on. I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like the waves like around this bit here just makes it look a little bit weird. Obviously the hair is synthetic, but potentially if I steamed it out, it might just go a little bit straighter because I don't know, I'm just not really a big fan of like the wave. I wish it was like kind of straight up to here and then the wave started because otherwise it just looks a little bit weird around my face. But what do we think of the style and the color? I mean, the fringe is a good length. I might give it a little trim just because. The color is so cute. It's actually exactly what I was after. It's like that bubblegum kind of pink. It kind of makes me think of Rayra from Nana. If you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below, you guys are real ones. But yeah, I really, really like this. I think this would be such a good wig for like cosplaying as different anime characters with pink hair. The only thing that's kind of making me dislike it a little bit is literally just this wave here. Like I just don't like how bulbous it makes my head look. But apart from that, the hair is really nice. It doesn't feel like it'll get really tangled. It was really easy to brush out. And also I forgot to mention, none of these wigs are like molting. So when I'm like brushing them out there's no hair being pulled out which is really good so here is what this wig looks like from the back the only thing I would say about this wig as well is that it definitely looks like a wig I mean as realistic as the hair strands are it still looks like a wig because no one has hair this full but I do appreciate the fact that it has got that little scalp sort of effect on top that definitely makes a big difference okay moving on we have an icy blonde moment I am so excited to try this one because you guys know I love a blonde wig now this one is slightly different than the other ones because it is so long and it's also straight. It does still have the fringe, but I just feel like this would be such a good cosplaying wig. I mean, look at it. It is perfect. The length is so nice. It doesn't feel like it'll get tangled and the amount of hair is 
very realistic. I mean, if you naturally have hair this long, you're probably not going to have thicker hair than this. So this is really, really realistic looking. Okay, let's try this long blonde moment. I don't know if I'm going to sue Icy Blonde, but... I guess we're gonna try it, you know? It's just a wig. Oh my gosh, it looks freaking terrible right now. Okay, so this one is very small. Like the actual like lace on the inside is tiny. It's like barely covering my wig cap. This wig is for small headed people, okay? If you're gonna wear this, you definitely need a skin colored wig cap. And with this one, I'm noticing a lot of molting. Like there is so much hair being pulled out. I don't know why. Okay, let's give her a little brush because I feel like she got very, very tangled very quickly. There is so much hair coming out. Why? It already isn't that thick. Okay, selfie check. What do we look like? We look like Lady Gaga from the Poker Face era. What the hell? Why do I look like Lady Gaga in this? Okay, so the fringe is okay. It's not amazing. It definitely would need a little bit of styling and a little bit of shaping. I mean, for like Halloween or for like cosplaying, this would be okay, I suppose. But it's not really a wig that I would wear on like a day-to-day -day basis. It's definitely not realistic. In terms of quality, this one is the worst one so far. There's so much hair coming out on my brush and it also is just getting very tangled. So this is what it looks like from the front. I can't even get all the hair in because it's that long. Sadly, I'm gonna have to give this one a big thumbs down. Like I said, it'd be great for cosplaying or Halloween, but not really much else. Okay, the next one is almost like a black wig. It's very, very dark in color. It is actually a brown, but it almost looks black. I've always wanted to try having hair this dark. It literally looks black on camera. Okay, so this one, again, is one of those realistic ones. I feel like this is literally the same style of wig over and over again. Like they've just nailed it. It's got the fringe, it's got the faux scalp, and then the hair is just so nice and lush. It's very easy to like pull your fingers through. It's not getting tangled. And then it's just got that really nice curl right at the bottom, but not at the top. So that's really good. Let's take this monstrosity of a wig off and try it, this one on instead. Okay, so here is the next wig. What do we think? I'm not entirely sure about this one. I feel like this one definitely looks a little bit fake. Once again, the fringe definitely needs some styling. It needs some cutting just as all the other ones did. The actual hair texture and quality feels nice. It feels a little bit tangly right at the bottom here, but apart from that, it's all good. Once again, the actual like thickness of it is really good. It feels quite realistic. This is literally all of the hair from the wig right in the front. I have to say, now that I've tried this on, I do actually like this dark color on me. Would I ever dye it? Probably not. I'm too chicken for that, but I do really like it. I don't really know what else to say about this, apart from the fact that I just like the color and it definitely needs a little bit more work than some of the other ones I've tried tried in terms of like styling and cutting. So this wig was 16 pounds and the way that the mannequin is wearing it is more like this. So like the fringe is kind of like straight on. But as you guys can see, it's really long for that. So I'm having to put it to the side. So what's my final verdict of this wig? I mean, it's okay. It's not as good as some of the other ones I've tried, but it's definitely fine. I would totally wear it and I think it looks realistic enough. So I'm probably going to give this like a seven out of 10. And now moving on to the very last wig. We have this one, which is another blonde ombre kind of vibe. This one is slightly warmer, I believe. It's got like warm caramel reflexes going through it. Oh wow, I remember this one. This one is really cool in terms of the styling and the cut. It hasn't got like a curl per se. It's more of a wave, as you guys can see. It literally looks like a salon blowout, which is why I really, really liked it, and especially the fringe. Let's take this one off and try this last wig on. Okay, are we ready for the reveal? Oh gosh, <laughs> the fringe is so long. Oh my gosh, the fringe even needs cutting or like styling so that it's like more far back. Okay, I have strategically placed the fringe in such a way that I can actually see because this is so like overlapping over my face. If you were to wear this wig, you would definitely kind of have to like style these pieces so that they would sit on the sides rather than just fall in the middle. But this is the wig. It actually looks so freaking realistic. What the hell? I love the length and the cut of it. It just looks so cute. It has a lot of like nice volume, but it doesn't feel fake. And look at the color. It is so nice. I love the layers and I love that caramel going through it. I feel like I just look way more grown up with hair this short and blonde. Don't you guys think? I feel like she is called Vivian. 
Like, that's just the vibe I'm getting. Like, shit together, has a glass of wine in the evenings, and really grown up. Overall, I really, really like this wig. The only thing that's letting it down is the fringe. It just keeps falling in my face like this, and I just cannot be dealing with that. I think I'm gonna give this one probably like an eight out of 10. It would have been a 10, if not for this annoying fringe. All right, guys, so that is everything for today's video. I'm gonna finish this video off in this wig because I feel like it looks the most realistic out of all of them. Out of all these wigs, I feel like my favorites were definitely this one, the ginger one, and the first ombre one. Those were literally to die for. They look so realistic and just like regular hair. So if you guys wanna try out any of the wigs, but you want them to look as realistic as possible, definitely try those out. I'll have all the links in the description. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Be sure to subscribe as well to come and join the dinosaur family. I feel like I can see you guys less and less by the minute as this fringe is creeping into my eyes. So I'm gonna finish it here. I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.